Hello, everybody. How are you doing today? Hmm. So, Super World. So, the past few days, my internet hasn't been working, so I decided to check out Lunar Magic. So, for those of you that don't know, Lunar Magic is the program used to make Super Mario World ROM hacks. So, I'm not very good technically, but I found Lunar Magic was a lot easier than I would have expected it to be. In as little as like a day or two, I was able to make three or four worlds and an overworld map to get around to them, which we're going to see here in the background. So yeah, I was able to change uh, Super Mario World to Super World pretty easily. If I had more time, you could make your own uh, title and change that. So if you notice here, I was able to change the text boxes pretty easily. Jumping straight into the overworld, we're going to go to Yoshi's house, which I renamed to Hall of the Dead. So all of that's pretty easy to do in Lunar Magic. Now remember this, this world I was able to build um, within the first day, maybe two days, after I first installed the program. So total noob, total beginner. Um, and I was still able to do all of these different tweaks. But so with Lunar Magic, I was able to uh, change a variety of levels. So here I made a water level. And you're able to pretty easily stitch the different levels together. So you've got a Yoshi and Star, pretty much the same as Mario Maker, except you have more options, as we'll see later coming up. Um, I also did a Ghost World and then a Castle. And in the Ghost World, you'll see we have some different options than you would get normally. So it was pretty easy to set up generators. Still need a lot of practice to figure out what'll slow down the game and what won't. Let's see what else we've got. So one of the most difficult things I found in Lunar Magic was working in the overworld, and that takes a lot of work and practice, but even within the first day or two I was able to get basic animations set up. So like when beating a level, it opens up a new path, I was able to set that up. And then here we go into a ghost house, which again, with uh, Lunar Magic you have access to a lot of templates, so these are real easy to set up in the beginning, which was kind of nice. A lot of the same hijinks, but you got Big Boo, and here we've got Fishing Boo to help out, because who doesn't love a Fishing Boo? A lot of those fun. Ooh, so we've got the green globs there. So they, there's a lot more options and enemies here from the Ghost House than you would get in your normal Mario Maker, which is kind of nice. So here we go after beating the Ghost House. We'll head back over to a castle. I just pretty much took the Bowser Castle and set up a dungeon level, a castle level. So let's check it out and see what we got. So Iggy's castle and made some basic tweaks to it, added some things. But here you get a lot of, again, the same text boxes. But you have all the elements you have total control over, including the gates, and the spikes, and the lava balls. I made sure to add plenty of stars just so I could be able to practice it and play it. But yeah, so there we've got a checkpoint, although that made that button disappear. So still, even in the beginning, I'm able to already jank some stuff up. <laughs> but... Alright. I left plenty of stars here <laughs> to make sure I could survive. But yeah, so this is the end of the castle. And along with these castles, as we uh, let it run forward, you also have access to being able to use all the all the Koopa children and Bowser battles. I think I poked my head there. Yes, I do. <laughs> it looks like the background, but it still hurts. Ludwig, yeah, Ludwig is our boss here. So just like a normal normal Super Mario World. You just battle the boss and you beat him. You go. You got him. And yeah, so when you beat him, it goes to the final cut screen. So then we have this end screen. I think you can change the text here as well. We'll see if I did. I think it probably says something. Mario has defeated another Koopa in the name of Stalking a Princess. Yes, so we were able to successfully change the background here. Alright, so there you have it. 
my first venture into lunar magic. In the first two days, I was able to make a three-level little mini ROM hack island, and it wasn't too bad. And I would definitely recommend lunar magic to all of you out there who are interested in making uh, Mario levels. If you guys have any questions, comments, or any interest in lunar magic, be sure to leave a comment down below, and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can.